Yeah. Now let's, let's give you the chance uh, to please respond to these issues that seem to be affecting the ordinary man, uh, so to speak. Yes, thank you very much. Well, first of all, it's, uh, it's very normal in our society after 50 years of failed governance that people will have suspicions about what government has to say. That's not new to us. The issue now is about rebuilding that trust. Uh, and the only way you rebuild the trust is not by talking, but by action. The reason why the talking part is important, though, is because people need to have a measuring stick against which you will measure your performance. So but if are we you say the you are going to do something... Are we seeing I'm sorry, the action? Please. Are we saying that's, the that's exactly what we're saying. We're, we're saying, we, we, unfortunately, in the past, we had problems identifying very clear and tangible targets that we're going to reach, right? So right now, for us, we have to be able to give those targets so that we say, yes, we have reached this at this time, as we said we did. That's how trust is rebuilt. It's not by just acting and then there's no, there's no understanding of what is happening or not happening, because it's in that lacuna people will begin to say what is false. I want to say, I want to respond to my a very good friend. Uh, I don't want to engage in a political conversation. I want to get, engage in a development conversation. So I don't want to get into what previous government did, previous government didn't do. That's not my interest. The interest is how do we provide for Nigerians? How do we achieve for Nigerians? And going across the board, let's start from agricultural, where he mentioned that, you know, the idea that this one is just talk, that what have we done in five years and all of that. The proof is in the pudding, my dear brother. I would challenge you, if you have any question about what I'm saying, go to the CBN and go and look at the statistics if, you, if you're unclear. The, in fish, we have, we have re uh, reduced uh, fish importation in this country by 60%. Sugar, by over 60%. I'm talking about since 2015. I'm not talking of uh, 2010. What I'm saying is that the idea that uh, the, the last administration or the last uh, Minister of Agriculture did everything and now we're reinventing the wheel, that's absolute fabrication. It's just not true. Anybody can look at the statistics of what we have been importing from 2015 to now, but and you will know how many to... billions of dollars we have saved Ingalale. every year as a result. Yeah, Ingalale, but how, how do we get to the point where we don't necessarily need to go and see the statistics before we see the results, such that if it is not liberals, if it is another woman out there who is on the street, would be seeing the effect of it even in her local space. No, not but this, is, to this go... is what we're saying. This is, yes, this is what we're saying. See, when we talk about made in Nigeria rice, for example, right, a big part of what we talk about is, ah, we say, ah, there's a stone in the rice. Ah, this rice, and it's even expensive. Why are we buying, why do we have to buy made in Nigeria rice when there are stones in the rice and it's even uh, expensive right now and all of that? This is, the, this is the evidence that we're talking about. Before, that option was not there. And we forget that that option was not there. So when we say that, when we say that there's no alternative and that we're not substituting, it's just not correct. And if we say that people are not feeling it in their lives or seeing it in their markets, that is also not correct. My friend mentioned so many different things that I would need time to go through. For example, MSME funding, for example. The Central Bank of Nigeria not only put together uh, the 50 billion uh, Nassau microfinance bank facility for households and small businesses, there is absolutely no issue with accessibility. My friend made a false claim that is shrouded in secrecy. My, my brother, on my own Twitter account, uh, ordinary Nigerians were able to access that form and they were able to show me their, their award letters after they accessed the money. So it's just not true. I, I'm afraid we have to wrap it there, unfortunately. I, I think we have to bring you again and to have this conversation so that we move away from what we see on social media, what we hear our leaders say, to what translates to actual and practical results, especially for the common person. Let, let, me, let me just say very quickly before I go, that it's very, very important in this country that the conversations we have are not emotional. So when we say what we're saying, let it be based on fact. Let it not be based on decades-old suspicion or decades-old notions that government is just talking and they're not acting, when in fact... I can, I can use the statistics, I can use the real, real life experience of people to say that we are doing exactly what we say we are doing. And if we say that we want to bring agro processing facilities, for example, that were not in place before, there's nothing wrong with government having new plans. Every government in the world, US, Germany, these people develop because they bring new plans. The question is how do you add on to what you are currently doing? And that is what we are talking about.